<laughs> I have no idea. I did not smell him. Um, we talked. He's really cool. He's really chilled. He came with a crew of like 15 homies. Let me tell you, Americans are huge. It's like, he was here and he's like my size. So it's like a small guy um, um, surrounded by many huge people. But he's very talented, very professional. Um, so it was really cool working with him. High school, I went through so many damn. I was just going through high schools. Um, uh, then I joined USIU. Um, to study journalism and business, and I am I am like Kanye. I'm a college dropout. Um, I, I decided to follow my music and follow that path, and doors opened up. So that's what I started doing. I started learning music online mostly, and doing courses there. You know when you find that one thing that 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 you do for free that you do all the time. Um, I always found myself playing guitar. I always found myself moving towards music, and that's what I love doing. So so yeah, it's because I love it. I can't see myself doing anything else. I can't see myself as a desk job. Um, well, 9 to 5, yeah. The closest to 9 to 5 I do is the Coke studio, where I have to be at work at this time. And at this time. Music education, I think, is very important. Um, in every, every form of education. Um, sometimes it's not necessarily institutionalized education. You can learn online. You can learn just by playing with different people. Um, as long as you're learning, as long as you're trying to grow, and once you find what you love doing, as long as you're trying to grow yourself and always move to the next step. Basically, education never stops. I have five now. Um, I've given my baby sister one. She's, she's, she's my protege, so... so um, guitars come and go, but this is my main baby. What style of guitar do I like? Actually, um, depending on what I'm playing, I would play different guitars. Sometimes I play the acoustic guitar because the song requires that. I play the electric and lead guitar. Um, so it really varies and changes. I, I don't have a preference between playing an electric or acoustic, semi-acoustic or bass. Being true to who they are, number one. Um, always growing their craft. Um, loving what they do. Um, having a genuine message. Saying something with the music. Um, because, because there's many musicians out there that they get stuck in a path, they're selling, they're creating music to sell. It's, a, it's, it's the trend, they're going with the trend. They're not creating music because, um, because it's what they love doing or, or, or because they're trying to say something. Or they're not trying to relay an emotion, just creating music for money. So it can't just be about money. Um, you need to do it because you love it. You need to try, let your soul out through, through the music you create. You see, there's so many with my with my music because I'm a very um, col I, I love collaboration. Um, most of my first album was based around collaboration, so so it's very many messages, uh, but all, most of the time it's always positive. Um, but depending on where I'm at, what the inspiration is, what what my connection with the other musician I'm working with is, um, the message changes. So I guess go out and listen, and then it's normally very clear what the message is in each song. If I could change something about my career, I wouldn't change anything. Um, um, the struggles, the triumphs, um, I think they're all necessary for the journey. Um, so I'll just keep doing it, keep, keep, keep working hard at it. And one thing I'd really love to do musically is tour the world. Um, I just want to play in Japan, to Paris, to, to New York. Um, not in separate occasions, because like, I've played in a couple of countries, um, but not like a straight world tour where I go like six months. Um, in terms of people I want to play with, there's so many here. Because I listen to so a lot of very diverse music, um, from hip hop to rock to jazz to classical music. So I think in each genre, there's someone I want to play with. <laughs> Yo, I started, with, I started out in Africa. Um, there's so many. Vikasa, um, Shuma um, Sekela. Lionel Lueke, Richard Bona. Um, tio, the list is endless. They're so different. Blinky or Jazz? Jazz is a producer. Uh, my cousin we used to work, we used to play together. Blinky, they're so different. I can't compare the two. Um, so I guess it depends on what I'll be doing uh, with them. Don't procrastinate. But like my younger self, constantly procrastinating. There's many opportunities that I think the one thing that 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 you regret later is the things you didn't do. Some opportunities are let pass because of procrastination.